What's up community, it's Nuno here and today I'm so excited because I finally got the green light to be able to demo to you some of the technology we are using on Laravel Cloud and one of them is actually Laravel Reverb which is a technology we use to keep the browser in sync regarding the backend state and I can show you a couple of examples where we are using Laravel Reverb one of them is when we create a new environment so as you may know or you may have seen on Taylor's demo um, each Laravel Cloud account can belong to multiple organizations. Each organization can have multiple projects, but also each project can have, uh, you know, a different environments. So here I'm going to just create an environment for develop. And one cool thing about this is that, so I just created the backend action here, which is creating a new environment, but the front end from this browser just automatically reacted to it. As you can see, the developed environment is already here on this list. And if I were to do something like, let's say, update the environment name from develop to developed 23 potentially I can just click on save and automatically that develop 23 just got updated here as well on this browser on the right so this is thanks a lot about reverb which allows me to keep uh, you know the browser in sync another example I can give you is when we actually deploy an environment so I'm gonna just play myself place myself here on this overview of my project and I'm gonna as well uh, deploy the website here on this button as you can see both browsers just reacted to it and I can see already the deployment appearing here on the list of deployments of my project. I can just click on it and everything, it's really updating on exact same time. So this is thanks to Laravel Reverb. Uh, are you using Laravel Reverb yourself? If yes, what are the most interesting cases you find yourself using that project?